Morning guys! Um, it is day five of October. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, it is pretty early in the morning and um, I got a pretty dang bad night's sleep last night. So I am feeling pretty tired and a little loopy. So um, right now Lucy is me and Lucy are eating our breakfast together, which is often the case. Um, so she is nursing right now, and I have got some oatmeal that I'm eating one-handed. Um, luckily, I have my right hand free today. That makes it easier. <laughs> and, of course, my trusty water. So we are going to finish eating our breakfast, probably play a little bit, and then um, I don't know what from there. She's probably going to get a little bit of sleep after that, but probably not much. This first nap of the day doesn't usually um, go for that long at all. Uh, it might just be a little bit of her napping on me. So, um, And I don't know what we're going to do today. We'll see. It's a really nice day. I'm sure we'll go on a walk or two, and we'll see what we get into. <laughs> Getting ready to go on a walk. I am... Just getting a podcast ready so that I can listen to something on our walk. I've got Lucy in her backpack today, and there's little Squirrel. She's sad because she can't go on the walk, but that's okay. There she goes. All right. Let's hit play. I got my keys. And we're going to head out the door. <coughs> of course you start crying now. That's our pile of wood that we haven't stacked yet. Let's go this way. I'm working on my Quiet Stars cardigan, and this is a pattern by Hohi Locatelli that I've been working on for quite a little while now. Um, it's pretty much a lace fingering weight cardigan. Um, I have, I think, a few inches left to go on the body, and then I'm completely done. The sleeves are done, it's top down, 
and uh, I am pretty well just about there. I cannot wait to wear this thing. I, uh, I might have more than a few inches. I think the pattern calls for a few inches left of knitting, but I am probably going to make it longer just depending on how much yarn I have. Uh, the reason why I did the sleeves first is because I wanted to be able to use up every last bit of yarn on the body because I do like a long sweater. I have that much left. So I have quite a bit left. Um, I guess since I have so much left, I'm not sure if I'll actually go through it all or not, but I like that I can uh, go until I'm happy with the length and not worry about running out of yarn. I am wearing my Ramona cardigan today, and this is a pattern by the Brown Stitch. And I made this cardigan out of Bear Ulco, their home base, which is their worsted spun, worsted weight base. I purchased this yarn at Stitches West 2018, this last February. I purchased the yarn for this Stars cardigan also at Stitches West 2018 this year. Um, those were the two sweater quantities of yarn that I purchased while I was there at the festival, and I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, I'm getting through both of them before the year's over. Uh, the only other yarn I believe I have from that festival that I haven't used yet are two skeins of sock yarn. I bought a skein of Knox Fiber Co and a skein of Cat Sandwich Fibers. And both of those, I look at them every time I go into my stash to plan a project. And I'm scared to use them. They're, it's that kind of yarn where they're too precious to use, which is totally stupid. Uh, but I just, I want to use them in the exact right thing. They're both so beautiful. And I don't know, it would be really cool to use both of those before the end of the year too, or at least before the next stitches. Um, speaking of stitches, Stitches West, which is held in Santa Clara every February, um, is something that I've been going to almost every year for quite a little while now. And um, this year is going to be my first year uh, having a baby. And, St and Stitches West will be happening in February. Uh, I have decided pretty much to myself that I'm totally going to go to Stitches West in February. Uh, Lucy will be like five months old. No, no seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I don't know how she'll be. I can't. <laughs> maybe six or seven months old, something like that. And um, my idea right now is, and we'll see what happens, but my idea right now is I'm gonna go by myself. Mom is gonna take a little weekend vacation to the Bay Area and get a hotel room. And usually I only go to Stitches West uh, for one day. I go to the market for a few hours and that's my entire experience at Stitches. But this next February, I think I wanna go for the whole weekend. And just get a hotel, stay by myself, hopefully meet up with some other knitters and like go out at night and have fun. And I am really excited about it, even though it's really far away. <laughs> um, I hope it happens like that. That would be really cool if it worked out. Uh, but anyway, I'm just squeezing in some knitting time while I can, which has been pretty scarce today. It's been a pretty, it's on the rougher side of having a newborn today. So, you know, you have those days. I have a few moments of precious quiet time right now. And as always, when I have a few moments of precious quiet time, I'm sticking in some coffee.
favorite fabric to weave ends into is ribbon. So I'm trying to get some work done this evening and Lucy here is being pretty needy. So I, I don't usually like to wear her at home just while I'm doing stuff just because it's really difficult to do things for me while I'm wearing her. And um, for example, right now, the only thing that's keeping her calm is me wearing her and me bouncing on a yoga ball. So <laughs> I'm sitting at my dining room table at my computer. Um, bouncing on the yoga ball and enjoying a libation. Some, <laughs> um, some beer that Colin picked up uh, when he played his show at the Mad River Brewery. They always have kind of like 12 boxes on sale like at the actual brewery so he brought some home and this is their tropical IPA. It's really good. Anyway, I'm getting my Etsy shop ready to go for tomorrow morning because I dyed my Halloween colorway as you saw in the last video or the last last video um, and I since it's a Halloween colorway I wanted to get it up on the site like as soon as possible because Halloween's coming up really soon so I'm getting all my listings up now and um, hoping that she'll kind of stay put long enough for me to do that um, I finished a little earlier photographing everything and let me show you I have a couple skeins here oops I lost the ball the trouble with the ball is that as soon as you get up it goes rolling around everywhere I think she's gonna be fine for a second so it's really dark in here right now but this is how graveyard turned out and I'm so happy with it. It's pretty much exactly how I pictured it. Got it on Stellina Sock. This one is BFL Nylon. And this one is Merino, Merino DK. I love this one. I really want to make something out of Graveyard on Merino DK. And I dyed a batch of this. I got a good bunch of it going up in the shop. Uh, I also have some older colorways that I'm going to put up listings for too. If I have time, <laughs> I'm um, putting up these listings tomorrow, which is Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. And I have my fingers crossed that I have time to actually get everything done. So <laughs> I'm going to try to get back to work and see how far I can get. Bye guys. No. <laughs> Lucy, it's time for a big close-up. Lucy! Hi! <laughs> Hi, Lucy! <laughs> Hi, Colin! Hey, Tommy! Lucy's ready for her close-up. Good job, Lucy.